Hello, everyone. Welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley, and I will be, in the next hour, leading in another discussion conversation class. This time a little tamer than maybe our, our, my last class. We'll be uh, talking about hobbies and collecting things. So uh, join us. I'll be asking you description questions and opinion questions. And come on in and have a chance to converse in English. Hello, Leandro. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine with you. I'm doing well. Uh, how have you been? I'm good. I am wake up early minutes ago. <laughs> uh, really? Really. 30 minutes ago. Where do you, where do you live? What time is it? In Brazil. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What time is it there? Nine o'clock. Nine in the morning. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm going to work just afternoon. And in the morning, I'm going to learn some English. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. All right. Uh, well, uh, Leandro, do you, do you have any hobbies? Is there anything, special activities that you like to do? Uh, I actually, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to the gym in the free time, but it's not so frequently because I'm a little busy with my kids. But I wish I could go more, more times to the gym or to practice some extra activities. I don't know. Okay. You okay? You said I go to the gym in the free time. Probably better if you use maybe a possessive. In my free time, I go to the gym, like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's certainly a healthy and good hobby to have. Uh, definitely. You can't go. <clears throat> you can't go as much as you would like to because what you're. What are you working on? Your your thesis. Yes, I'm ah. finalizing my master degree. Ah. I have to complete my thesis. What is your uh, thesis? In biochemistry. Oh, really? Ooh, that sounds difficult. <laughs> that sounds really hard. Wow, good luck with that. That's, that's, Thank that's, you. Yeah, that sounds really tough. And uh, Nadia is back. Yay. Hi, Nadia. Hello, Nadia. Oh, hello, there, Oakley. Uh, there we go. Okay. There is a delay before the verbling yeah. window yeah. opens. I know. In Hangouts. I, I, know. Mm -hmm. I just choose to ignore it every single time. <laughs> 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 but I know it's true. Uh, Nadia, we're going to talk about hobbies and collecting things. Um, do you have any hobbies? Nadia, where did you go? Hello, hello. I don't know. She disappeared. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Yuchizu, how are you? Great. Great. Then answer. <laughs> yeah, and now uh, welcome. It's boring. Every well. time, how are you? And good, great. Uh, good, great. Yeah. Horrible. My cat just died. I'd like to hear that just once. <laughs> just kidding. Yuchizu, do you have any hobbies? Yeah, I have many. Many? Like what? What do you like to do? Like, I, I like uh, appreciating sculptures. Huh. And I, I feel like learning is someday. Okay. You yeah. oh, you want to learn how to sculpt? Mm. Really? Well, that's very what, interesting. What about you? <laughs> what about what about me? Yes. Oh, this is my hobby. <laughs> you mean teaching? Uh, no, this is my job and my hobby. Both. I'm lucky. Uh, no, I have always had a, my hobbies. When I'm home, I like to read books. I read a lot, and when I'm outside, I generally like to do um, outdoor 
forest mountain activities. When I was in the United States, I skied as much as I humanly possibly could. I love to ski. Uh, in the summer, I love to hike, camp, fish. I'm a mountain so, kind of guy. So where do you live? Now I live in the Philippines. We're practically neighbors. Hi, Taiwan. I'm, oh. I'm in the Philippines. I'm just... why, why do you live in the Philippines, not other countries? Uh, I was abducted by space aliens, and they brought me here. I, I don't know why. Uh, adopted? Uh, ab abducted. <laughs> kidnapped. Oh, my God. You're yeah. lying. I, uh, <laughs> me, a <laughs> teacher? Yes. Lying? <laughs> no. I would never. No, there's a lot. There's a lot. He's joking. <laughs> Yes, I am. Hisham, how how about you? What are your some of your hobbies? What do you like to do? I, uh, I you already said I already know that you like to work out. Yeah. Yes, uh, I go to gym six days a week. Wow, uh, Two times. I playing. I was playing boxing. Uh, I love hiking, swimming. I I play football every week. I adore riding horses. Uh, and uh, I can uh, cook okay, a lot of foods like pizza, lasagna, um, uh, pasta, and other Egyptian traditional foods. Uh, and I, I, I love to, or I like to watch uh, uh, for, um, documentary films uh, to be cultured. Uh, I don't like to, to read the whole book. I just uh, saw a few films and know it. Ah, okay. Well, you're a busy guy. No kidding. <laughs> yes. Wow. Thank you. So you like to cook. You can make pizza. Yes. Awesome. I can do it. Uh, by the way, uh, our our uh, is, um, this is a link of uh, photo or picture of our uh, representative uh, of military. Ah, okay. <laughs> the handsome political. The handsome All right. Guy. You you put it in the other hangout. Okay, I'll, I'll have to. Yes. I'll have to check it out. I have the Verbling chat box on, which I have to yes. monitor. But I can check out the hangout later. But thank you. Okay. Cool. All right. No, but no. I, I have to ask you, do you know how to s throw the pizza dough in the air and spin no, it? No, 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 no. No. It doesn't matter. <laughs> No, I, I, it's all about 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 the test. <laughs> no, it is. It's all it's all about looking good when you throw that yes. pizza in there. It's fun. No, I can. <laughs> really? I I only care about the test. Okay, I, I um, my my special ingredients. It's the drama. Wait, okay, Uchizu, show us your pizza. I can't believe I just. Look missed. here, my books. Ah. Oh, okay. It introduced um United States. I can I can show you my pizza. Ah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Hisham, what are you going to show? Uh, I can show uh, I show you my my pizza, but uh, how to attach <laughs> a photo here. <laughs> hey, okay. The verbling chat box you know, you can put anything over there that you want I to. I can, I can attach. Attach a pizza? <laughs> uh, att yeah, no, no, attach a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. wish you could attach a pizza because I'm really hungry. That would be great. We could just put a pizza in the chat box. Oh, thank you. Maybe when we have 3D, maybe when we have 3D printers, we'll be able to do that. Yeah. Yes, someday yes. that would be uh, awesome. Maybe, maybe if you if you come to Egypt, I will cook a pizza for you and your family. <laughs> wow, terrific! That would be okay, great. Okay, okay. Uh, I will tell you something. When I I um, okay. I ask my friend, my close friend, uh, would you like to go to a restaurant to have uh, a lunch or a dinner there? Uh -huh. uh, he. He refused. He he asked me to to do a pizza. He said your pizza is better than go out ah. and eat in a restaurant. Just to make a pizza for me. 
<laughs> Very good. Yeah, that is a that is a great skill to have. Okay. Thank you. Just, Michelle, be careful of your pronunciation of asked. Okay? It's yeah, a okay. it's a it's a weird asked. word, but it has a like asked. a T sound at the end. Asked. Ask. Okay. Asked. And asked. Uh, <laughs> and, well actually <coughs> Guys, just a little English note here, since I am supposed to be teaching you English. The word asked, because it's very complicated, it has S sound, K sound, T sound. We usually actually reduce it, and so when a, a native says it, it sounds like asked. He asked me a question. My friend asked me to go to lunch. You mean Skip does the pronounce. Uh, yes. Drop the middle consonant sound. Drop the yeah. sound of the K. That's that is exactly what I mean. And you will actually find that in English frequently, when especially when you have three in a row different sounds to make. We usually drop the middle sound, like uh, sound. Okay. usually, like like months. We we don't usually say months. <laughs> too many sounds. <laughs> So we shorten it. We say months, five months. months. And doubt. Okay. Well, doubt is a silent B. So I, I have to say ask it. Ask. I have to say ask. It, it sounds more natural, Hisham, if you ask. just say asked. Ask. Uh, no, no. Uh, if I wanted to say ask it, ask it. Uh, ask, ask it. Ask it is. Totally wrong. First of all, the ed okay, okay. at the end after a k, like think about walk. It walked. Walked. Okay. Yes. Asked. Walked. Asked. Asked. Yeah. Okay, like t sound. That's ah. right. After a k, a verb with a k, if you're doing past tense, it yeah. sounds like a t. Walked. Asked. Walked. Right. That's it. Uh. Okay, uh, Nadia, are you mm -hmm. are you really here now? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's get back on topic. Uh, how about you? Do you have any hobbies? <laughs> yes, I have a lot of hobbies, but I don't think that I can call them ho hobbies because hobby, I in my view, in my thinking, is the activity which you frequently do, which you often do, and. Uh, uh, thinking about this uh, definition of hobby, I have uh, one lifetime hobby <laughs> of uh, it's uh, learning the English language. Ah, yay! Very I've good. been doing it for many, many years. Uh, but I also love, uh, enjoy doing lots of other stuff like doing sports, playing volleyball, um, jogging, swimming, uh, hiking like you, going to the mountains, working mm -hmm. in the garden. I like dancing a lot. It's my second passion. And uh, I like sewing. I like embroider. I wish I had three lives to do everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've got plenty of time. Okay. I like your expression, and I, I'm going to repeat it just to share with the class. It's my passion. Something that you really enjoy doing. It's a very good way to express it. My passion is, yeah. Okay. Uh, very good. All right. You guys are very well-rounded people. You have lots of interests, which is terrific because, in my opinion, people who have lots of interests are interesting people. <laughs> Just my opinion, okay? Okay, I'm going to guess now, class. Don't say anything, Anne Roman. Every day when Anne or Roman, Anne is the wife and Roman's the husband, I never know which one is going to show up to class. I have guessed 80 different times, and I have been wrong 80 different times. I am never right. So I'm going to guess it's Anne. What do you mean? You guess at last. <laughs> yes! Yes. I okay. Class. Goodbye. <laughs> I have I have to go buy a lottery ticket right now. Yeah. Yes. It's your now. your day today. It is my day. All right. I'm, I you made my day just simply by doing that. Okay. And w w tell me about some of your hobbies. Do you have any hobbies that you? 
like to do? Certainly, uh, my passion is not at all. To, uh, it's a, a tourism, travel. I like. Uh, I travel a lot, and I spend all my free time uh, not only for traveling but for preparing uh, travels. Uh, it it took a lot of time usually because I like uh, to find some uh, information which I can use to make in my travels. For example, uh, some recommend uh, recommendations of other tourists uh, which were in the place where uh, where I would like to visit or something like this and uh -huh. uh, so I think that it must uh, it's my best patient and secondly uh, learning English is also became my hobby last time so I think I have two important hobbies and uh, I had a lot of small hobbies for example uh, aquarium fish or uh, ah, yeah house plants, uh, but uh, I think uh, I couldn't compare this hobby with my hobby as a travel. Okay. All right. So you you feel more strongly about, as you said, it's your passion. You feel more strongly yeah. about traveling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Having an aquarium is definitely a hobby, I think. Yeah, it's an, that's an interesting hobby, taking care of a uh, tropical fish. Hmm. Cool. Um, Alexandra, welcome to the class. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice to have you here again. Uh, thank you. How about you, how about you, Alexandra? Do you have any hobbies? Um, that you like? You know, to I've been listening to uh, all the participants for some time. And I was thinking whether I should join in or not, <laughs> because um, I must confess I don't have any hobbies. I have nothing special Are you sure? to say. Well, I don't go in for sports. I don't have a garden. I don't know how to see you. <laughs> okay. And I don't travel much because uh, all my time is devoted to studying. Well, maybe my hobby. Um, I can call studying. I can consider it as my hobby. Studying, maybe. Maybe, sure. <laughs> the, a couple of students have already mentioned learning English as a hobby. Sure. Mm -hmm. You could do that. Um, are you sure you don't do anything else? Do you uh, do you do anything at home, like take care of house plants or garden or tropical fish, or do you have any pets? I have a snail. <laughs> you have a snail. Just just like SpongeBob. Wow. <laughs> you have a pet snail. <laughs> you and SpongeBob. Kind of. <laughs> wow. So I thought that maybe uh, the topic seems rather easy, but I thought uh -huh. that maybe I could join and uh, pick up some ideas. <laughs> okay. Do you ever... T Take your snail for a walk? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I think it would be scared of Russian streets and Russian traffic. <laughs> yeah, def definitely have to carry a stop sign. Wait, snail crossing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. How, how, Alex Alexandra, I'm, I'm, do you like to shop at all? Shopping. You know, I don't like shopping because I'm very, I'm very indecisive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Some for some people, shopping is a hobby. Certainly. Yeah, I know, but I'm very indecisive. It's very hard for me to choose um, an outfit which would suit me, and it usually takes lots of time. So it gets on my nerves, and I say, "Oh no." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I tell you what, I like jazz, and I'm dreaming yeah. about uh, visiting yeah a, a jazz concert by Curtis Steiger. Steigers. Do you know? Have you ever heard about I've, him? I've Cur Curtis Stargell? Steigers. Stargell? Huh? Curtis? Or Curtis Steigers. Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the pronunciation. I, I'm. Can His you English. Can you put it? 
in the chat box. Okay, sure. Thank you. Do you like uh, any of the classic jazz players? Mm. Like Dizzy Gillespie? Oh, Curtis Stigers. Okay, I, I, I'm familiar with the name. Yes. I, yeah. I'm not really familiar with the work, though. I'm not sure. Alexandra, I have a recommendation for you, or all of okay. you, or any viewers, or any human being on the face of the earth. Um, <laughs> if you do, you like to travel at all, Alexandra? Mm, yeah, sure. Okay. But usually, traveling uh, it needs um, a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, very true. <laughs> you could always sell your snail, um, <laughs> but. Uh, okay, the, my favorite jazz festival in the world, but it's more than just jazz. It's a festival for 10 days in New Orleans in the United States. New Orleans in southern part of the United States. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. It's called the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. You will not, you will never, you will be so soaked up with music that, and great food, you won't even, your head will explode. You, you won't even be able to handle it. It's an amazing event. Actually, I might even consider that a hobby when I lived in the United States because I went every year and I prepared for it, uh, listened to music, whatever. <clears throat> it's amazing. It, there is a, it's a huge area. There are 20 or more than 20 different stages. <clears throat> And each stage of music plays a different kind of music. The focus is on jazz because that New Orleans is the birthplace of jazz. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're going to hear progressive jazz, modern jazz, Dixieland jazz. About six of the stages, different kinds of jazz. I would be willing to bet everybody who has anything to do with jazz goes to this festival. I would bet your your man Curtis probably goes there too. I I would be willing to bet. But even it's really cool because the the other stages they they can play country western, rock music, punk, reggae, African. Um, uh, everything, samba music, every style of music, and they just keep playing for ten days. You That's will great. You will That's see, exactly for me. <laughs> you will see more bands than you would ever imagine, and the food is phenomenal. The best, really high-priced, very gourmand, beautiful restaurants, the best of the best restaurants, cater this event. So you can buy little pieces of food from the very best restaurants in the city. It's unbelievable. For like a dollar. When does it take place? It is always um, it is always the last the last week of April. It it may go into May or it may be just the last two weeks of April, but you can always look last week of April. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You should check it out. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Good yes. idea. <laughs> okay, all right. I, en enough of me talking about that. All right, I'm Leandro. I, I'm going to go back to you. Leandro? Okay. Are you, are, are you still there? Okay. Leandro, I want to talk about a specific type of hobby, and that is collecting things. Did you ever collect anything when you were a child? Yes. I, I, I can't speak in English. I don't know the name, but... Inside of the bottle, you have like a tip. I don't know the name. Uh, right at the bottle. Yes, you have to take out to to drink something. What's the name of that? Inside of the bottle? No, no, in the top of the bottle. Uh, the cover the. Oh, bottle yes. bottle cap. Yes, yes. Bottle cap. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, I used <laughs> to collect that. Ah. Uh. Wow, that's cool. That's very funny. I had a cousin who collected um, beers. He he had a, I don't know two hundred different beers, but the whole beer. Uh, I prefer to drink. <laughs> yeah, me too. I thought he was crazy, but yes, he would leave the bottle cap on and he would just <laughs> collect the whole beer. I I agree with you, Leandro. I'm I'm with you on that one. 
Okay. Uh, Vinny, are you here? Yeah. Hi. Okay. How are you? I'm good. How, how are you today? I'm doing great. <clears throat> okay. Vinny, uh, I didn't get to ask you. I, you kind of vanished. What are your hobbies? Mm. I think uh, my hobby is play to play the guitar. Ah. Perhaps listening music, watching TV series. Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah. My hobby is to play the guitar. Probably better to say my hobby is playing the guitar. All right. So yeah, my hobby is playing the guitar. Right. Okay. What can you play on the guitar? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> not much. I'm not familiar with that song. Not much. <laughs> I don't know that one. Uh, it's, it's a piece of <laughs> each kind of music. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, my my next question. I'm going to ask everyone. I want to ask people about collecting things. Do people, uh, have you ever collected anything, Finny? Like coins or stamps? Yes, actually I have uh, 100 coins of different places, of different years. <laughs> ah. And uh, it's very, very nice. Okay. What's the best part of your collection? What's the best coin you have, the coolest? I have some Japanese coins, and these coins have like a, a hole in the middle, so it's very yeah. nice, it's very inter interesting. And also there is some Italian coins that are huge, but really, really uh, light, not heavy, you know? It's ah, like a huge okay. coin, but it's not heavy. And okay. Um, and there are also some very beautiful coins from Italy as well. It's very, very. Uh, there are lots of details in the coin. It's very nice. Right. At the Japanese coins with the hole in them. I wish Yuki was here in the class. We don't have any Japanese students here, which is too bad because there's a special purpose or a special thing with those. I once had a, a, a Japanese uh, gentleman, he was my student, an older man, he, he gave me two and you're supposed to always give somebody two of those to show that you will not forget the person and that that you will always be a part of my life, something like that. It's very interesting. I, I think I know the coins you're talking about. They're, they're kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, action. Oh, hello. Long time no see. Action. Are you hi, here? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, action. We're talking about hobbies and, and collecting and other things. Do you have any hobbies? Uh, yes, of course. So, uh, I, my hobbies are reading books, watching films, and uh, and doing doing uh, doing some sports, actually uh, generally team sports, football. Not team sports. I think I, I play chess also and I like play tennis. You I play like playing tennis. Tennis. Yep. Ah, okay. So all right, you you like to stay fit. That, that's good. All right, and uh, what else do you say? Watching movies. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever collected anything? Do you know uh, what I mean? Like stamps or coins? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, no. No, never. Never? You know what? No. Beca okay. Because, because uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, a, like, I'm a person that I, for, oh, I forget. <laughs> I forget many things because I know that I will forget these this, this objects anyway. So... So I, I I don't collect anything. Oh, uh, okay. Did you ever collect anything when you were a child? Uh, so maybe. Mm, no. 
Yeah. Maybe money, money for some time, but not not so much. Okay. Just money, but money. That, you mean because I I, th I thought that yeah, not as a coin. I thought that yeah, I have to collect money I, and maybe it it will make me rich, but <laughs> but it, it was stupid. So. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I'm gonna run or zip over here. I'm gonna talk to Yuchizu again. Yuchizu. Hello. Yes. Hello. Uh, do you collect anything? Mm, no. Yes, you do. I can see behind you. There's you collect <laughs> textbooks, and you it's collect stuffed animal, it's and you. Oh, it's not your room. Oh, good one. Nice comeback. Okay, you got me. All right, very good. You, you did you ever collect anything as a child? I don't. You never have, really. Um, do people in Taiwan? Is it common f to, for people to collect something? Collect antiques like old things or anything? Seashells, coins, stamps. Is that a normal activity, or is that kind of odd? In normal. Your it's normal. It is. Yeah. Okay. And there, there is something I want to show you. There is. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. I want to see. What's that? <laughs> like a special recycle. Banknote. A special what? Special Antarctic banknote money. Oh, okay. Paper money. Uh huh. Okay. Are you are you going to do that now or <laughs> sometime in the future? No, just just want to show you because it's very special. Very special. Well, okay. All right. Actually, they just, I, I live in the Philippines and they just changed the money here. It's, yeah. it's very pretty. It's like paint, little paintings. I carry little paintings in my wallet. It's yeah, very pretty. Very colorful. Bright purple and pink and green and chartreuse and wow. Deep blue. Very nice. I actually like it. Um, are you ready? Okay, I'll let I'll let you. I'm not sure what you're doing over there, so I'll let you figure that out. I'll, I'll move on. Uh, Nadja, do you do you ever collect anything? Sure. When I was a little girl, fifty. Five or six or seven year, maybe three, four, five, six year old girl. I used mm -hmm. to collect Swiss wrappings, and we played with them in summer in our yard with other girls. We digged holes, and then we put uh, those wrappings, one wrapping into one hole, and then we covered this wrapping with a piece of glass, and it looked like installation, and we liked it a lot. What? And we had lots. Installation. So, can you imagine a little hole in the soil? Uh huh. Yeah. Well. At the bottom of this hole, you put the sweet wrapping. Like candy wrapper. Candy wrapper, right? Ah, okay. All right. Yes. You I fold it you. so All that right. it uh, was uh, in the f form of a square. Uh huh. Okay. And you put it at the bottom of this little hole, and uh, then you put a piece of glass on it. Ah. And okay. then you it uh, you put some sand on the sides of this uh, um, glass beneath which you can see this piece of paper, uh, candy wrapping, and it looks like an installation in the soil. An installation. Yes, an installation. Okay. And anyway, it doesn't matter, but uh, that's what all the girls in my yard used to do when we were really? little, and we had uh, boxes of these uh, candy wrappings at home. So. Really? Yeah. Wow. That is a new one. 
Uh, that's very, very interesting. Okay. Uh, one quick uh, a little feedback. Oh, Alexandra used to do that. Really? Alexandra? You used yeah. Okay. <laughs> she knows exactly what you're talking about. Wow. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. That's a new one. All right. But uh, one thing, Nadia, you shouldn't say we digged holes. We dug holes. Dig is an irregular verb. Dig, dug, we had dug. Dig, dug, dug. Okay? For past tense, we dug a hole. I haven't been using this verb, this particular verb, for a long time. I have completely forgotten about <laughs> this form. Silly okay. me. <laughs> ah, yeah. No big deal. And I used to collect badges and pins. You call them pins. Ah, okay. I had about maybe 100 of different badges and pins made of metal and all that stuff. And right. I also, uh, I don't know w where they are now. Maybe I, I might have thrown them away <laughs> after moving. And I also used to collect candles. And I remember that uh, there was a candle in my collection which looked like a castle. Looks like a castle. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Did you collect scented candles? Uh, as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I, my, I have an aunt who collects scented candles. Her house always smells different. Always smells. Ooh, cinnamon today. Oh, next time you go. Ooh, chocolate. Uh, it always has a sandalwood. Whatever. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Buttons, uh, okay, uh, you said pins or badges. Sometimes we call them buttons, too, when they're the round ones. Mm -hmm. And you pin them on, and they have, you know, you know, they say something like, I love English or whatever. Those are buttons, uh -huh. mm -hmm. too. Yeah, okay. That's, okay. That's, that's, that's an, uh, very common in America, too, especially for young people to collect uh, pins and buttons. Absolutely. Uh, Joy, hello again. Hello. Uh, J hello. Joy, how about you? Do you ever collect? Did you ever collect anything? Uh, I just uh, heard a uh, small Buddha. S small bottle? Buddha. Buddha. Model? Small uh, Buddha. Can you type it? I'm not sure what you're okay. saying. Maybe bottle. That's what I thought. Bottle. Model? <laughs> <Not sure. laughs> bottle? Or model? Joy? Joy? <laughs> yes. Did I lose you? Is it a bottle? Is that right? Yeah, Buddha. Buddha. Uh, Buddha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddha. Uh -huh. Look, Buddha. I have a Buddha. small medicine bottle. Like that? No, 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 no. Please, please, please. One second. She means. Uh, she, I think she means Buddha. Do you know the God uh, Buddha? Ah, Buddha. Oh, yes. Fat belly. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Rub the belly. Good luck. Yeah. I have a Buddha belly. I can rub my own belly for luck. Ah, Buddhas like jade. Like jade Buddha, ah, yeah, the green ones, uh, or they can be different, but ah, yes, I like those. I used to have a couple of those myself. I know what you mean. How many did you have? Oh, I, I just uh, heard it uh, no long, no long time. Uh, I have about uh, 20. 20. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Is that is it? Is that a common thing to collect in your country? Yes. Do you ever have people, um, maybe you remember, maybe your relatives or friends or brothers or sisters, do you ever have people that really fall in love with one animal, like an elephant? So they have many elephants, wood carving, jade carving, stuffed elephant, uh, like elephant toy. Do you know what I mean? Uh, no, no, I don't know. Uh, okay. 
All right. In, for Americans, that's very common. Some, and actually, sometimes it's very silly. Somebody gets an owl, for example. It's a nice wood carving of an owl. Okay, it, as a gift. And so other people see that the owl is at, in their house. Oh, you, you like owls. So they give you an owl, and you, and you get another owl, and another owl. Before you know it, you have 20 owls, different carvings or paintings or whatever. But you never really liked owls. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is very common. It happens all the time in America, actually. Someone will end up with many of one kind of thing. They'll collect it by accident. Not because they really want to, because everyone thinks they want. Yeah, okay. Real, real owl. No, not real owl. <laughs> Collecting real owls. Yes, I have 20 owls in my house. Okay. Although, to, I will tell you, though, since you asked, Ichizu, when I was about six or seven years old, I think, I, w I had to live with my grandmother for about a year. Um, my father was in the military, whatever, whatever. Anyway, uh, I collected frogs. Or really, actually, frogs. baby frogs, the tadpoles. Yes. You mean dress? No frogs, like. Oh. Ribbit. Yeah. Oh, he, it would uh, jump. Yes, that's it. Animal. Animal. Oh, that's thing. right. And I would put them in my grandmother's basement because she had a bathtub, an old bathtub in the basement. So I put water in the bathtub and I put uh, many many tadpoles, the baby frogs, before they have legs. I put many hundreds in the bathtub. So, so what happened is they all grew into frogs and we had a plague of frogs at my grandmother's house. It was great. It was my, my collection. She was not happy. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Yeah, that was not not good. All, all right. Hisham, have you ever collected anything? What is... Um, uh, yes, coins and the paper, uh, paper money, money paper. What's old, that? All the old, old, old paper money. Paper money. Oh, okay. Bills. Yes, old. Paper money or uh, bills. Bills. Okay. Um, where yes. from? From Egypt or from different countries? No, no, it's all from Egypt, from uh -huh. about seventy and uh, one hundred years. Oh wow! Okay, that's cool. Well, what are some things? What are some things that people like to collect? Uh, in Egypt? Yes, in Egypt. Um. I don't know. There is uh, a lot of things. Uh, I'm sometimes uh, I I collected uh, uh, cards of uh, charging uh, my mobile, charging. <laughs> really? My mobile uh, I spent a lot of money. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay. Uh, uh, thousand thousand of money. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. That's very okay. funny. The cards. Okay. <laughs> I get okay. it. Though. Great. Thanks, you. Thanks. You're hey, welcome. It's, it's very funny, actually. <laughs> I, uh, I can, I can kind of understand that. <clears throat> Do they, uh, sorry, I have a question. Sure. Do they sell the pyramid figure in Egypt? <laughs> of course they do. I can answer that one. <laughs> but we'll ask Hisham. Hisham, Yuchizu you, you, has a question for you. Okay? Go ahead, Yuchizu. Can you, can you repeat it? Do, um, do you sell the pyramid figure in Egypt? If I go there, can I buy it? Sell what? Pyramid. She's like pyramid. pyramid. She's talking pyramid. about. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Pyramids. Yes. Pyramid. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You can. You, you, you can. 
you can buy a lot of kind of tournaments, uh, a lot of uh, shapes. Uh -huh. Of course. For yes, you can buy it, sure. And uh, another statues, and you can you can buy uh, uh, sphinxes also. Any any right, anything any pharaoh things. Right, right. Uh huh. Like uh, souvenirs, which um. Actually, Anne, you like to travel, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you collect souvenirs? Uh, no, because a lot of souvenirs no. made in China. I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't uh, see the reason to collect uh, something that you can buy in only one country. Uh, if I buy some souvenir in uh, different countries, uh, uh, it should be souvenir which made in these countries. It's my main principle. Okay, I'm with you on that, and I like your attitude. Very good. I. I totally agree with you. Do you. Is there anything that you collect or collected when you were a child? I think I used to collect everything uh, that I could in my childhood because uh, <laughs> uh, in my that I was a child, uh, there was a crushing of USSR and we had a really uh, big shortage of, of everything in my country. Uh, uh -huh. So then I saw something uh, bright color something interesting I began to collect it and my parents uh, could not uh, throw out anything from house because I saw it and cried oh I began to collect it please leave me. left it <laughs> and uh, I remember that all my room was in some uh, unuseless uh, things and I collected everything Awesome. Okay. Actually, we have an expression in English for someone like that. My grandfather, actually. You're describing my grandfather. I, you were a child. You have an excuse. My grandfather drove my grandmother crazy because he was a total pack rat. He was a pack rat. He, he would never throw away anything ever. <laughs> um, and I'm talking about you probably had shiny rocks and little interesting pieces of twisted metal. My grandfather had old cars and uh, washing machines and old toilet bowl and <laughs> broken fans. Oh my gosh! My my grandmother really wanted to kill him because he <laughs> he would never throw anything away. He collected everything. Be and his, he would always say, well, you never know when we might need that. I might need a part from that. Whatever. Oh. <coughs> so yeah. your house become a garbage. Garbage yeah, wreck. Basically, <laughs> that's right. Absolutely. Well, it was very funny. You know, it, my grandmother and grandfather were very... My grandfather drank a lot. And he smoked cigarettes. And yeah. he dr drank and... And my grandmother, I never heard her use a curse word in her life. She went to church three times a week. She never, ever drank. So I, why do like, they hit up and marry? Uh, I don't know. They were in love. They never got divorced. They won marriage for their entire lives until they were married for 60, almost 60 years. Really? No, six, 60 years. They, they did actually. Wow, so long. Yes. Yeah. Right, and uh, you go to my grandparents' house, like half of the property was a junkyard with, mm. because my grandfather was a pack rat and there'd be old cars and washing machines and, and the other half was be beautiful garden, vegetable garden, flower gardens, beautiful lilac trees, rose bushes. It was like split. I don't know, I don't know how they did it, really. I don't know, but it, it was interesting, for sure. Do I, do I get along well? I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know how they managed to put up with each other. Uh, Alexandra. Alexandra? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Uh, did you ever collect things? I guess you collected candy wrappers. <laughs> did you ever collect anything when you were young? Boop, boop. Um, I guess no. I was I was bad at collecting, but uh, I can add that 
Russian people, they uh, tend to be acting like pack rats. They tend to be pack rats because <laughs> we tend to collect many different things which can be, uh, yeah, which can be junk or which can be useful. Anyway, we collect anything. You know, starting from uh, cellophane and um, <laughs> ending up with broken skis or something like that, which is kept wow. on people's, you know, balconies. Um, wow. Yeah, usually unnecessary, but it, but it is. I guess it's typical of us. Wow. I had all my broken skis. When I lived in the United States, I <laughs> probably had 10 pairs of skis, only of which two actually functioned. Wow, you just you just totally described me. <laughs> mm, maybe I'm more like my grandfather than I realize. <laughs> also, it's you know, Anne brought up because uh, you know the colla the collapse of the Soviet Union and that there were tough times, so she felt like she had to collect things. You know, I'm talking about my grandfather. It's actually quite similar. He he was had a very difficult time in the Great Depression. He he was a young man then, just starting out with my grandmother. And he lived out in the countryside, so there was no work and he had a very, very tough time. So maybe that's part of it. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Uh, Alexandra, are there any special things that people in Russia like to collect? Hmm. Maybe as for wealthy people, uh, they like to collect some rich articles, rich articles of clothing or some, um, you know, uh, valuable items like pictures or cars. We do have such uh, examples. So, but as for as for ordinary people, I don't know whether we have or not something special. I guess no. I guess we. I guess ordinary Russians are just practical people. Yeah, who trying who's trying who are trying to save. Anything. Here's a question for you. Many people in America, very common for older people, not for children, not, not at all for children. Many people collect antiques mm -hmm. in the United States. Old furniture, very old appliances like a toaster from 1910 and old bottles, dishes, uh, everyday kind of items but that are a hundred years old. It's very, very wow. common. Yeah, it's a very common thing to do in the United States. There's numerous antique <laughs> shops and stores. Uh, do people do... Yeah, same as in France. Yes, I think they do do that in France. Do, do people do that in Russia? Would that be a um, normal or weird thing to do? No, I think nowadays it's not it's uh, not a customary thing. No. Really? I guess no. Hmm. Okay. I have a question for Russian <laughs> Alexander. Uh, mm. Do Russian people collect uh, small magnets for the fridge from different countries? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> But you know, so uh, <laughs> recent research showed, revealed that magnets which are kept on the fridge are very harmful for food because they influence somehow on the food. I don't know how, but no. I, I read about Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what the recent research, really. Oh my goodness. Are you, are you just kidding? Are you just no, playing no, no, with no, my no. mind? No, this is not my opinion. This is what scientists say. <laughs> really? But okay. yeah, we do. We do. We collect. Yeah. Well, so do I. I, I gotta go save my refrigerator right now. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea. Is, is that true? Okay, what, something else I have to Google. <laughs> Fridge magnets. Okay. Uh, Okay, hey, Uchizu, before we go, I'm curious. Uh, I, I was talking about collecting very old things, 
antiques. Do people in Taiwan ever do that? Uh, mostly old people do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but they do, but it does happen. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm just curious because we're close by. I live in the Philippines and I've never seen anybody collect antiques here. It's old. It's old. Throw it away. Nobody saves anything here. So I was curious. That was an age. Maybe maybe you don't have a very broad circle of friends. I've been here for seven years. I, it's broad enough. <laughs> I know all my neighbors very well. I think so, but maybe not. I mean, maybe there are some people. I, I don't know. Uh, Vinny, I, I, I have a strange question for you. Right. If, if you were really rich, what would you collect? <laughs> uh, collect cars, scooters. Cars? Okay. Yes, guitars. Liquor, liquors? <laughs> no, guitars. Guitars, oh yeah. And guitars, yeah. <clears throat> wow, one of the most impressive collections I ever saw. I had a friend, not a friend, just a guy I met one night, actually, totally random, but I ended up staying at his house. He had Jimmy, a uh, guitar, signed guitar from Jimi Hendrix, signed guitar from Keith Richards. Uh, he had an amazing collection of guitars. Yeah. Very, very cool. <laughs> I, I I thought I was like I'm so jealous. Oh, so was I. I was <laughs> I was com totally impressed. Uh, okay, uh, guys, thank you so much for joining the class. I appreciate it. <clears throat> thank you for your participation. But I'm afraid that I am out of time, so I'm gonna have to close the class for now. Hope to see you okay. all again. See you all. Thank.